I promise you to do lots of easy meals this year and I thought of showing you how to do several flavors of sandwiches at once like in a commercial kitchen. So let's start doing it. For that I'm going to do several different types of sandwiches. First one is the egg sandwich. So I add, I boil the eggs then add salt, pepper and I'm going to add some mayonnaise. It's up to you to add the mayonnaise. I added about a tablespoon for two eggs. So now leave it aside. I have grated carrots, tomato sliced and sliced cucumber, sliced beetroot, these are the canned ones, then sliced onions, lettuce, cheese and some gherkin relish, then sandwich pickles. If you like any other flavor you can of course have some any other flavors and I have butter and some bread. So let's start doing it. As I always say, when you are using a chopping board, put a tea towel underneath so it is stable. Now take the bread. We normally have large um, chopping boards and we use one loaf or two loaves at once. So I'm putting three different type, uh, six slices for three different types of sandwiches. So take the butter and butter the bread. The first one I'm going to do, I'm going to take the cheese slices out and do cheese and beetroot sandwich. Normally in a cheese and beetroot sandwich you can add onions or you can omit totally the onions if you don't like the flavor or the smell of the onions. But it's really nice with beetroot, cheese and onions. So put the beetroot, if you are using canned beetroot, make sure that you always put that on a paper towel and take the excess water out. I'm using two slices of cheese, then I put the onions. That way it's not taking all the liquids to that. So put it on, leave it on a plate. Now I'm going to do the next sandwich. It's really simple and easy. Then I'm going to do a salad sandwich. So for that I'm going to add the lettuce, the carrots, this is completely vegetarian, and um, cucumber, and some tomatoes. Now, you can add sandwich pickles for that, if not there is no flavor. So always add a bit, little bit of pickle, and I really like to add a little bit of gherkin relish too. So if you like, you can add a squeeze of mayonnaise to get more flavor. If you are a vegetarian, try omitting the mayonnaise. So after, put it over, leave it. For the next one, I'm using eggs. So take the eggs. This has all the flavors already um, put in. So decide how much how much eggs that you are going to use on the bread. See how simple it is. Now the last one we are going to get. So I'm going to butter that bread again. Now I'm going to do a tomato and cheese sandwich. You can add anything that you like for this sandwich too. If you want any um, flavors, if not, just press it down. Now, you need a sharp knife to do this if you are doing all at once. If not, just press down the bread, nice and even. Make sure that you have to adjust the colors too. So the knife should be very sharp. If not, you can use an electric knife. Take from one end to the other end, leave the knife, slowly go down without pressing it. Now turn it like this, then hold it and go back again slowly. Now if you are doing a platter, look the sandwiches are different. If not, leave it like this on the plate and cut the next. If you like for the egg sandwich, you can add a little bit of lettuce. So take the second lot and cut the same way. 
So the sandwiches are ready and this is how it looks like. So you can do this for a party or even for a brunch or even for a high tea. What you have to do is you need to cut it nice and even and use different kinds of flavors. Even if you want to give it to your kids for school or even for your lunchbox or a quick lunch or a snack. All the tips and the recipe will be there on culinarycorner.net. Thank you for watching.